What an embarrassing moment for Blue Origin. You know that feeling when everyone is hyped about an upcoming product, but when it finally arrives, it turns out to be a disappointment? That's exactly what happened with Blue Origin's new Glenn rocket. From the beginning, Blue Origin and SpaceX were seen as perfect competitors. Both companies were founded by ambitious billionaires around the same time. Jeff Bezos for Blue Origin and Musk for SpaceX. This similarity in their origins made the competition seem perfect and fair. However, while SpaceX has launched hundreds of rockets and developed multiple successful spacecraft, Blue Origin has mostly been in the news for its failed tests and lawsuits. One of SpaceX's rockets that truly left Blue Origin in the dust was the Starship. This was a game changer, and it put immense pressure on Blue Origin to prove itself by developing something equally powerful and ambitious. In response, Blue Origin announced the new Glenn rocket, which was supposed to be a large, reusable rocket that could rival SpaceX's heavy lift vehicles. However, for more than a decade, New Glenn remained largely a paper project, with little to show in terms of public tests or tangible progress. Jeff Bezos faced increasing criticism for the lack of results, and it became clear that Blue Origin needed to make a big move. Recently, in an effort to regain credibility and show the world that New Glenn was more than just a concept, Blue Origin decided to conduct a test. Expectations were high, and there was significant buzz in the aerospace community. However, what followed was nothing short of a disaster. During the transportation of New Glenn's upper stage, the structure crumpled, an incident that was likely caused by improper handling during extreme temperature changes. This wasn't just a minor setback. It was a catastrophic failure that cast serious doubts on Blue Origin's ability to deliver on its promises. But the problems didn't end there. Shortly after the transportation incident, another upper stage of the new Glenn rocket exploded during a stress test. The explosion was likely caused by excessive pressure, a basic issue that one would expect to be carefully managed in any serious aerospace project. These incidents didn't involve the hardware for the upcoming debut mission, but they have certainly raised questions about the rocket's overall reliability and Blue Origin's readiness to enter the highly competitive space launch market. Adding to the embarrassment is the stark contrast between Blue Origin and its rival SpaceX. While SpaceX has been setting records, launching rockets, and even landing boosters for reuse, Blue Origin has struggled to get its act together. SpaceX's achievements include the development of the Falcon 9, Falcon Heavy, and now the Starship, all of which have seen numerous successful flights. However, even with all their success, there's a mission that's proving difficult even for them, developing the Starship. The idea behind Starship is huge and complicated. When Musk first introduced it, many people didn't believe it was possible. They made fun of the idea, saying a rocket that big would never fly. Even after SpaceX built the first prototypes, the skepticism continued. Critics said that a rocket this large would never take off successfully. But SpaceX didn't stop to listen to the critics. They focused on improving and refining Starship with each successive launch. The first integrated flight test aimed to gather basic data and test the vehicle's capabilities, but it faced several challenges, including a loss of control during ascent. In the second flight, SpaceX addressed these issues by improving the flight software and control systems, leading to a more stable launch, though it still ended in an early termination. Third flight marked a significant improvement with the booster reaching higher altitudes and successfully executing separation, though the landing was still not perfect. This flight provided crucial data for enhancing the landing systems. The most recent fourth flight demonstrated the most progress with the booster achieving a near-perfect splashdown in the Gulf of Mexico. This test proved the improvements in the Raptor engines, thermal protection, and control systems, bringing SpaceX closer to achieving their goal of a fully reusable Starship. Now, as they prepare for Flight 5, SpaceX has incorporated lessons learned from these previous flights, refining the vehicle further to address any remaining issues. They've completed all the necessary preparations and have even announced the launch date for this important mission. As the launch date for SpaceX's fifth Starship test flight approaches, excitement is indeed building. 
This test is scheduled between late August and early September 2024, pending final approval from the Federal Aviation Administration. While SpaceX has already secured the necessary approval from the Federal Communications Commission, the Federal Aviation Administration's green light is the final hurdle before the launch can proceed. This upcoming flight is particularly significant for SpaceX as it involves an ambitious maneuver, catching the Super Heavy booster using the Mechazilla Tower Arms at the Starbase facility in Texas. This groundbreaking technique could drastically reduce the time required to recover and prepare the rocket for its next flight, thereby making space travel more efficient and sustainable. If successful, the booster will be gently caught by these massive tower arms and lowered back onto the launch pad. However, if any issues arise, the fallback plan is for the booster to perform a controlled water landing similar to previous tests. Many people were surprised to see SpaceX planning to use the Mechazilla system so early in their testing phase, especially considering how complex and untested it is. The Mechazilla system is the first of its kind, designed to catch the Super Heavy booster mid-air as it returns from space, which is a far more challenging task than the more common method of landing on a drone ship. Despite the complexity, SpaceX is confident in their ability to pull this off. During the fourth integrated flight test, SpaceX employed a virtual simulation of the Mechazilla catch system. This virtual system was used to guide the booster to a precise location in the Gulf of Mexico, where it performed a near-perfect soft splashdown. The accuracy of this landing was remarkable and gave SpaceX the data they needed to assess the feasibility of using the actual Mechazilla system for future catches. The precision achieved in Flight 4, where the booster landed almost exactly where planned, demonstrated that the technology and simulations were on the right track. Musk and the SpaceX team analyzed the data and determined that they were ready to attempt an actual catch with the Mechazilla arms in the upcoming Flight 5. In addition to the Mechazilla catch attempt, SpaceX is also considering an in-space engine reignition. This would be a critical capability for future deep space missions, where mid-course corrections or adjustments in orbit are often necessary. SpaceX's preparations for Integrated Flight Test 5 have been highly rigorous, addressing key challenges from previous launches. For instance, the issues with thermal shield tiles observed during Flight 4 have been significantly addressed in the upcoming flight. SpaceX has introduced new materials and redesigned the tiles to provide better protection during re-entry. Moreover, SpaceX has made substantial advancements with the Raptor 3 engines, which are expected to power the Starship with greater efficiency and reduced risk of failure. Compared to the Raptor 1, which produced around 185 tons of thrust, and the Raptor 2, which increased thrust to approximately 230 tons, the Raptor 3 can generate up to 280 tons of thrust. This improvement not only increases the engine's power, but also reduces its weight and complexity, leading to better overall performance during Starship's ascent. One of the key changes in Raptor 3 is the optimization of its full-flow staged combustion cycle, which enhances fuel efficiency and engine durability. The design changes also aim to reduce the risk of component failure, allowing each engine to be reused up to 1,000 times. Additionally, the Raptor 3 engines are smaller and cleaner in terms of exhaust, which reduces wear and tear on the engine and the vehicle itself. While SpaceX is making remarkable strides with only two decades of experience, their oldest competitor, Boeing, is currently facing significant challenges with their Starliner spacecraft. Starliner was designed to regularly transport astronauts to and from the International Space Station, but the program has been plagued with delays and technical issues. Boeing's Starliner, which first launched with a crew in June 2024, was initially planned for an eight-day mission. However, due to multiple technical problems, particularly with its thruster systems, the spacecraft has been unable to return as scheduled. Engineers detected several issues shortly after Starliner docked with the International Space Station, including low thrust in one of the thrusters, which led to extensive testing and data analysis to determine a safe path forward. As a result, the return date has been postponed multiple times, with NASA and Boeing now targeting late August or even later. This extended stay aboard the International Space Station is also raising concerns about the health and well-being of the astronauts on board. 
Typically, astronauts are prepared for missions lasting around six months, which is the standard duration for long-term expeditions aboard the space station. However, the current situation is unique. The crew aboard the Starliner has now been in space for 96 days, far longer than initially planned. If the situation continues to drag on, the risks will only increase. Bone density loss, for example, can lead to an increased risk of fractures upon return to Earth, while muscle atrophy can make the readjustment to Earth's gravity more difficult and painful. If you've stayed with us until now, I've got some exciting news for you. We have the most realistic Starship model available on eBay, and it's priced affordably. Whether you're a space enthusiast or just love collecting models, we invite you to check it out. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.